we're going to solve a differential equation here. You're, we're in 3.2, so you totally can go look at uh, how to solve, how to find the antiderivative of a tangent squared. Back in the textbook, there's a strategy section, but I'm not going to do that here. What we're going to do instead, I wrote down what I remembered about tangent and secant derivatives. The reason I'm not going to use the second one here is because if you look, secant and tangent are raised to first powers here, and we have even power right here, so that's not going to help. Let's think about this right here. Unfortunately, if the derivative of secant was tangent squared, everything would work out perfectly, and antiderivative, uh, we'd be already looking at the derivative here. Unfortunately, we have a tangent squared, we want to take an antiderivative, but we only really know it for if it's a secant squared. So there's one more identity. This is not a calculus, this is a trig or an algebra identity. Tangent squared x plus one equals secant squared x. So let's go ahead and sub out, well I gotta subtract one. So we have tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus one. So rewrite this with that substitution in place. All right, so what we need to do is take an antiderivative now to solve for y. What, what this equation says, if you read it, it says the derivative of y is secant squared minus one. So I can just do a guess and check here. I already checked up here, the derivative, antiderivative of secant squared is tangent. And by now, you should be able to tell the antiderivative of negative one is negative x. All right, so the antiderivative of secant squared minus one is tangent minus x. And you can check it by taking a derivative. We take derivative of tangent, we get secant squared. Derivative of negative x is negative one. So that works out. Don't forget, we just took an antiderivative, so we also get a constant here. The other thing we haven't used yet is our initial condition. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And so that zero, zero, what that means is uh, that's the x, y coordinates. So when x is zero, y has to be zero. And now we're ready to plug that in. So our y is zero equals tangent zero minus zero plus constant. Uh, tangent is sine over cosine, so sine zero over cos zero plus c, so sine of zero is zero, uh, cosine of zero is one, so we have zero equals c, so our, so that's our constant is zero, so you don't actually have to write the plus zero, you can just leave it like that right there.